Control Cam really has shown us some amazing things. It's opened our eyes to what's going underneath. Seeing the kingfish with the black band over their eyes as they approach the bait is something we never knew about before. We really have been amazed at how easily the kingfish can pinch a bait off the hook. They scoot up behind and just nip it off, and this is particularly so with yakkers. And it really highlights the importance of free spooling a fish when you get a bite. That way, giving it a chance to turn the bait and swallow it. As you've seen with troll cam, the way they eat the baits is also very different. With a yakker, they definitely have to try and eat it head first, which is because they're very spiky. So to get it down, it's all got to go down the right way. This is different to obviously a slimy mackerel, which are soft. They seem to eat it with, with ease. They can grab it from the side. It's very easy. And it's a similar case with squid. So by knowing what baits you're using and how to fish them, which is obviously different, can be an important aspect of improving your hookup rate. Possibly one of the most surprising things was the amount of fish we saw on the troll cam compared to what we caught. At times there, we had fish trailing the bait for up to 10 minutes and not even striking it. So if you're normally fishing, you would have never known there were fish there. And it shows how long they actually sit there and stalk the fish. The kings in particular surprised us because we always thought kingfish would hit a bait from below. In reality, they actually all come from behind and just slowly stalk up behind it. And they spend a lot of time looking at it. So this can play an important role to put the boat in neutral when you're trolling. If you start feeling the bait quivering or getting excited, put it into neutral and let the bait sit there. So let the kings come up and really get on it. And it seems if it sits there for a while, then they're gonna eat it a lot more. <laughs>